Hey guys, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to talk about why coin dealers don't sell every coin that they buy. Um, and we're going to show you guys a few cool coins here. But let's get started. So we were talking to a client a few days ago and he basically asked me, how do you do it? Which basically means how do you be a coin dealer and not want to keep all the coins that you run into? And it's kind of a tough question because there's the selling side where you have to you know, meet the monthly bills and there's also that collecting side which really got you into the hobby. So the simple answer is it's a really big balancing act. You know, you want to start to collect certain things um, you know, for your collection, but you also want to please your clients and your customers. So um, we're going to give you guys a helpful tip in this video on what, how we collect and what we collect and the reason why we collect it. We're going to share five coins that we bought in 2021 that made us a really big return and we ended up actually just keeping for ourselves. Um, and this is actually going to contribute mainly to the balancing act we were talking about earlier and you'll start to get to understand it along the way as we describe these coins. The first coin we would like to show you guys today is this beautiful 1888 Morgan Dollar, uh, graded MS63 by PCGS. It has a really nice fiery uh, orange and blue on the obverse, and then when you flip it over, it has that nice orange on there as well. Um, the cool story about this coin is that we actually found it on eBay with terrible photos. Uh, we paid like $125 for the coin, and then when we got it in hand, it, it was just, a surreal moment where we like just saw how awesome it was especially in a rattler um, we were offered eight hundred dollars for this coin but we actually turned down that offer people ask why we would turn down an offer like that and the reason being is because we're collectors at heart and we want to hold stuff back that is really valuable but also that doesn't take away from our capital so 125 dollars isn't a lot in terms of what we had to spend to get it and then the eight hundred dollars in value that we now have just kind of helps us um, grow our collection and make it more valuable over time. Do you want beautiful coins for your collection? AcousiaCollectibles.com is where you'll find some of those. Go on, check on our website. We have beautiful coins posted there weekly and we would love to help you out and add to your collection in any way we can. Uh, please reach out to us on our website. Uh, we also have our phone number on there as well. Uh, you know, you gotta go check it out. It's a great website. And just to let you guys know, uh, something about our website, every single order that we have this month, we are going to be sending out uh, this, and it's gonna have a free war nickel on it. Um, so if you guys buy anything from our website, you'll get that free war nickel on us, just to thank you guys for all that you do in a way of supporting us. The coin we would like to show you guys next is this nice 1885O Morgan Dollar graded MS63 by PCGS. Um, it has some beautiful rainbow on the obverse of the coin. You can kind of see that going out through the face and all the way down to the date. Um, and the reason why we like this coin is just because it isn't a rattler, it has that nice color. And we flip it over the obverse, um, it's ra rather problem free. It does have a few kind of uh, spots on it, but that's not too bad for the grade it has. Um, we were actually offered this coin from a friend of ours for $215. And uh, once we got it in hand, we already knew what it kind of looked like, but we were told to, if we ever wanted to sell it, we would probably want to list it between the $650 to $750 range, just because of how rare the coin is in a Rattler um, with this color, and just the eye appeal that it has as well. Um, so when we did pay that very nominal price, we actually did end up uh, keeping it instead of selling it and the reason why we wanted to keep this coin is because we actually want to build a collection that we can pass on to future generations something that kind of just transcends us and actually builds kind of um, a family chest I think that's something that's important um, to realize when you have a collection uh, build something that's very nice um, for future generations to hold on to when you pass on are you guys enjoying today's video if you are please leave a like Comment what your thoughts are down below, uh, what kind of cool coins do you have in your collection, and subscribe if you're new. We want to come out with videos every single week that help you grow as a coin collector and possibly a coin dealer, so we're looking forward to hanging out with you more. Up next, I wanted to show you guys this beautiful 1922D Peace Dollar, graded AU58 by PCGS. 
it is CAC approved and the main reason why we collected this coin and put it aside is because it has beautiful obverse and reverse toning um, as you can see by the obverse there's just beautiful greens that pop out nice reds and then it kind of goes terminal around the rim here and then when we flip it over uh, we kind of see the same trend on the reverse um, right down where it says peach it has some pretty vibrant greens and then around the rim it also has that kind of red and terminal uh, leaving the coin there we bought this coin for $425 and some people might ask why did you spend that much money on the coin and when you take a look at the tributes and kind of that video you really do see why someone would keep this um, for their collection like us and when you see similar comps you're gonna pay a lot more for color like this on a piece dollar they're just hard to find and uh, Casey said he wants to be buried with this coin so if anyone asks if it's for sale it's not for sale this is actually a pretty neat coin as well this is a 1956 Roosevelt dime graded MS 66 uh, by PCGS and the reason why we like this coin so much is because of the reverse toning that it has and when you guys take a look at this video um, just like how we saw the coin when we first saw it you're going to be very impressed by the color it has um, I think we ended up spending $100 out the door on everything that we had to do with it. You know, buying the coin um, in an old ANX holder and then actually crossing it over uh, to PCGS. So, you know, the coin we didn't spend too much money on. And then when we asked around, you know, what value do you think we should put on this coin? Um, many of the collectors were saying anywhere between $250 to $300. And so we ended up keeping it just because of how beautiful it was. And um, we actually just didn't have too much money in it to where we would say we have to sell it. And you're kind of seeing the same story over and over again. Um, like when we were talking about the 1888 Morgan dollar earlier with toning. Um, yeah, we're, we're only spending $125 on the coin and it's actually worth $800. Um, but with a normal coin that we have for our shop, we'd only have to pay 90% of its value to get that 10, possibly 15% back to put back in the business. Um, so we don't like spending 90% on a coin when we're keeping it. We like to spend 90% on a coin when we're actually going to sell it. Um, so, and that tip kind of helps us gauge between keeping coins and selling coins because like we said before, we don't want to take too much money out of the business to where we can't really afford to buy new coins, fresh inventory for you guys on our website. Another reason why we're keeping them is because we look at so many coins and we question ourselves and ask, are we going to see coins like this again? Um, and most likely not. The last coin I want to show you in today's video is this beautiful 1964 Kennedy half dollar. Um, it was graded MS64 by NGC. The reason why uh, Casey liked this coin is because of the nice color progression on the obverse. Um, you see that gold, pink, and green there. Uh, it, it's just stunning. Um, we thought it would star at first, um, but you can kind of see that wear on or that flat strike on uh, the cheek of Kennedy there. So that's something that took away from that star gray that we could have got. When you flip it over, um, it's nice and blast white. Uh, we actually, I think, ended up paying $125 um, after grading and the cost of the coin. Um, and this coin also is around, you know, $250 to $300 in value, just based on the how nice the color is, um, where the grade sits as well. Um, so just another fantastic coin that Casey wanted to keep back for himself. Um, and all of these coins he didn't spend too much money on. You gotta, we gotta take that into account. Um, and that's something that really helps us with our collecting side and also helping us with our business side. They kind of complement each other when we find affordable coins like this. Here is an update of our secret project, as you can see here. Uh, we got paint on it. Yep, not giving you any more clues. But you can comment what you think it is down below. I think a few people tried a few videos back and really didn't get it. So if you guys want to take another shot, comment section is available for you. And after talking about all these coins, there's a lot of people that say, Tone coins are garbage, tone coins are damaged, tone coins have no value. Uh, you're incorrect, and uh, the reason why I think they do have value is because the market pays for that value. So if someone's interested in leaving that comment, you can. Just go look at auction archives, and they'll tell you the complete different story about these coins. Um, they all have a really nice value just because they're all unique and all different. And that's kind of what's different from blast white coins in general. So you guys have heard that saying, keep the best and sell the rest. 
And that's something that's good to live by, especially in a collectible industry like this. But when you add that price factor like we were talking about earlier, um, you know, if you get something that's super undervalued like these coins, um, it'll only help add to that quote and actually help you uh, dramatically with your business. So make sure to keep some stuff back, but make sure it's for a phenomenal price. So when we all started collecting, we really started to collect because we enjoyed the hobby, enjoyed what the coins look like, um, had a heritage maybe in our family of what uh, we thought coins to be. And then as you know, this industry kind of evolved, um, grading came out, auction archives came out, um, it really kind of added on to the value that coins had. Um, and so sometimes, you know, we actually consider these to be um, great coins for us and our heritage in terms of passing them on. But it's also interesting to think about how they can grow monetarily over time, just because of the scarcity that they have, and also the kind of the increased demand that we've seen over the past few years. So, you know, when we see collections actually sell nowadays, you know, people were buying them back then in the 80s and the 70s, and now they're selling anywhere between 10 to 15, 25 million dollars, um, just like that. And so, that's something also to consider when you're building your collection, not only not spending too much on it, but also understanding that there is going to be that value long term. I am not a financial advisor, so take all of this with a grain of salt and understand that when buying any coin. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, please leave a like, uh, comment what you guys plan to collect in 2022, um, and subscribe if you're new because um, you know we want more people to enjoy the hobby more by watching our content, learning from it, and them growing as collectors and dealers. So we look forward to hanging out with you guys more, and we will see you guys in the next video.